You're watching CN 100 Sports on Demand. Well, it's a snowy Sunday at Soldier Field as the Bears welcome the Cleveland Browns for a Sunday afternoon matchup on the lake. Hi, I'm Cameron Smith with CN 100 Sports, and the Bears don't want to be that team to give up a win to the winless Cleveland Browns this afternoon. We are here for some game day action. We're going to talk to some Bears and Browns fans about this matchup and their love for their respective franchises. Hey, it's a beautiful Sunday. It's snowing. This is football weather, so let's get into it. Let us know uh, where we are and what's happening today besides the uh, snow. Christmas Eve at the Bears game, diehard Bears fans cooked up some food. Uh, going to go watch a meaningless matchup, but uh, hopefully the Bears can get a win today. We're at the uh, Cleveland Browns game here in Chicago today to watch the Browns win for two years in a row on Christmas Eve. Tell me about this matchup and uh, what are you looking forward to? I'm hoping for a win from the Bears. And my BB gun, my Red Rider. That's all I want. That's all I want. But you'll but you shoot your eye out, don't you know that? I may. After the Bears win, after the Bears win, that's all I'm worried about. Hoping that the Browns can actually pull one out this year, and it's probably our last chance to, to get a win this year with Pittsburgh next week. But, uh, you know, have all the faith in the world that, that we can pull it out. It's a beautiful day for a Bears game. We've been waiting for the snow to come. It's uh, Christmas is early for us, and let's hope we get a victory today. So uh, you got you got some nice things going on right now. You're working the grill. Let, let me know what's on the menu for today. Well, we got some uh, we got some bratwurst. We got some Italian sausage, and we got some burgers. Uh, we're going on here. We got some guacamole also on uh, the side. And some some beer. Yeah, we got a little tzatziki to come to wash a little bit down, and you got to take care of everything there. All right, Santa. I mean, you have extensive extensive Christmas wishes, but so many people have wished for a Bears win today. Will they get that win? Are you going to grant that wish for the Bears today? I wish, I'm going to grant two wishes today. The Bears win, and John Fox is out of town. <laughs> so he, so you're going to get grant a Christmas wish, but John Fox is going to get a lump of coal for Christmas? Is that true? Sure is. You sure? And also a pink slip, right? <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll give it to him. I can't take losing anymore. It's getting old. Final home game for the Bears. What are you looking to see today? Hopefully, you see we pound the rock with the snow going there and let, let Trubisky do his thing, and hopefully we can get a W and uh, help the Browns go in 16. You know, because you don't want to be you, you don't want to be you don't want to be that team yeah, that gives up a win. That team that no, you don't want to lose to that team. No, no, not at all. We don't want Cleveland to win. This is our town. They need to go in 16. They need to tie up the Detroit Lions on that. There's fans in Cleveland who are planning a parade if uh, they go 0-16, and, and I'm hoping that they avoid that. So We believe in karma, and it's going to come around again, and we're celebrating my husband's 50th birthday, and that's why we are here to celebrate his Browns in Chicago, victorious Christmas Eve. We already lit up the victory cigar. That's how confident we are about a victory today. We're going to 1-15. We want one. We're going to get one. And how long have you been coming out here tailgating before a Bears game? And what do you love about this experience at Soldier Field? You know, I, you know this is the first time in a couple of years I've done it. But uh, I go back to when I was a kid doing this was with my father. Father and friends coming out, just tailgating with friends and family, making more friends and family. It must have been pretty tough to, to don on the Browns uh, gear on and come inside Soldier Field today. I know you've been getting a lot of harassment from Bears fans. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you get harassment from everybody when you're a Browns fan. Uh, we've been so bad for so long, but you know it's it's one of those things where you never waver. If you're if you're a true fan, you you never give up. But the reason why we're diehard fans is because if you look in that snowy car, my son's there and it's his first game. <laughs> so we're trying to teach him how to be a tailgater here, um, and he and his friend have decided to opt for the luxury of heat. So I'm not really sure what's. I think I'm failing as a parent. Cleveland has a professional football team. No matter what record they are, when you're there and you're a fan, you love them, you're loyal. We don't care about what their record is. We care about our love and our heart for the Browns, and the Browns are going to win. That's it. Now this Bears team obviously had its ups and downs throughout the season, but some positives that we've seen going back, obviously, to Mitchell Trubisky. So I'm impressed to have you been with him this season, this being the last home game for the team this year. Yeah, I think he's starting to grow, you know, now that they're letting him throw the ball a little bit. and. Uh, you know, I think the defense helps him, you know, get, get, get him off the, you know, the defense gets off the field quick and get him on there and let him get his reps. So next year should be a good year. What do you think about this team that, you know, makes you excited about the future? 
the defense. I think the defense is the defense aligned to front seven is, is really solid. And then uh, and encouraged by Trubisky. Trubisky is gonna is gonna bring us the future for us. Give me a, a score prediction and maybe what is what is what what is Trubisky's stat? I'll go Bears seventeen, Cleveland six. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go Trubisky's gonna have like maybe 150 yards passing, maybe one touchdown. It's all gonna be on the ground game. Cohen and Howard all day long. I think it's gonna all be about the chemistry between Josh Gordon and Deshaun Kaiser. He's been back for a couple weeks. I really think they're going to click, make a couple big plays. That's going to be the game changer. I like uh, 27 to 10. Bears. Oh, of course the Bears. The Bears. The Bears. Who else is going to win? All right, the Bears got the win. They continue the Browns' winless season. They are now 0-15. The Bears, meanwhile, get that Christmas Eve win and improve to 5-10. and 10. Great game by both sides of the ball. For CN100 Sports, I'm Cameron Smith.